regarding chemical abortion, the industry tells us it's safer than Tylenol. They're comparing Tylenol overdose deaths to the um, undercounted deaths from chemical abortion. There's no comparison. Women assume they mean normal Tylenol use. They don't realize that they're comparing it to deaths that happen from overdoses. Um, the abortion industry tells us about the complications they know about, but my experience has been, because the women have been assured it is so safe, when they have a complication, they do not return to the abortion provider. They come to me as their gynecologist or they come to the emergency room in distress. And so when we look at good quality records linkage studies that detect all chemical abortions and all subsequent events, we find five to 6% of these women present to an emergency room within a month. Uh, approximately the same number will require surgery because their bodies cannot evacuate all of the dead tissue. And I am still caring for these complications in Texas, even though we've had abortion limitations for quite some time, because these drugs are circulating in the state to try to circumvent our state laws and provide abortions um, to these unfortunate women.